Hey, 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 it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed, to check in with my divine, my divine ass feminine. To let you guys know what's going on for this weekend, April the 27th and the 28th of 2019. Yes, indeed, shout out to all my new subscribers. What's going on with you, baby? What's going on? If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, all you need to do is take a quick walk on over to my about tab all right you'll see a couple links there first thing you need to do is book and then you need to link okay book and then link first you need to cl click the link that says scorpion red several as simply book me book your reading then you need to come back to the about tab and link me up on Instagram you will see a link to my Instagram page if you do know if you do not have an Instagram or do not feel comfortable with us linking up on Instagram for whatever reason um, you guys can send me a message on Google Hangouts my email address is scorpionreds at gmail.com again it's scorpionreds at gmail.com so the two link options is Instagram so we can do the video chat or Google Hangouts using my email so that we can do the video chat now if you do do not feel comfortable with getting on camera which I would urge you to make sure that you do the video reading because it's a better way to connect with each other um, if you don't feel comfortable with getting on camera for whatever reason you do have the option to select um, an add-on it's an additional ten dollars and what that would do is you just send me your one general question or whatever type of reading is that you pay for and I will do it privately and do a private upload directly to YouTube where you personally will have the only link to that and you can watch it as many times as you want to I guess that's the benefit of that however just keep in mind you won't be able to interact with me like a face-to-face -face reading okay and then keep in mind also if um, you do a face-to-face -face reading with me and you want a video recap of your your um, reading so that you can always have it to look at you can also pay that additional ten dollars for the recap you know and I can do a video recap and I can upload it to YouTube and you can have it forever forever ever forever ever so you know there you go if there's anyone who um, would like to send a little bit of love to the page and thank you guys so much for doing so as you can see I got my decks from Mystic Moon BAM and we gonna be using these today BAM okay BAM how you like me now BAM well I already had this one but I'm just saying I'm just saying these are the two new ones ooh <laughs> Ew. And I might get y'all, you know, just because it's the weekend and it's my page, and I can do what the hell I want to do on my page, okay? I might go ahead and pull out the, you know, messages from, you know, the twin flame. You know? <laughs> you know? I might pull that out, you know? And um, see what kind of messages your twin flame is sending over to, what type of vibes, you know, he or she, because you know, this is America. This is America. Look at them sipping on, oh. Okay, this is America, nigga. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me start talking. Let me start walking on over here to this reading, okay? I know I got my coffee. Hold on. Mm. Mm. What's going on real quick? What's going on with all my ladies with the self-love? How y'all doing with the self-love and stuff like that? Are y'all creating? Y'all doing y'all little thing? Because I'm going to let y'all know. Mama been over here mixing and, 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 and cooking up in the, in the kitchen like a stir fry. So y'all already know, I have my little rose water or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Honey, and I'm trying to say that that rose water, that perfume, oh my God. Oh my God, it's just amazing, especially in like a car or like, you know, anyway. I got my purification, okay, and intuition spray, all right? Yes, a little frankincense, a little razzle-dazzle, a little razzle-dazzle up in here, you know what I'm saying? And then, honey, now this mother, this one right here, bitch, this one, my own shoe, my own shoe spritz, bitch. Y'all see them lemons, y'all see the cinnamon, y'all see the, y'all see the, y'all see the, uh, 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 oranges and all. Mmm, bitch, oh, mmm. So I don't know what y'all been doing on y'all little self-love journey, but that's what I've been doing. I've been creating some shit. You know what I'm saying? Some stuff that make me feel good, that make me feel loving inside. Because let me try to tell you, especially my rose water and this ocean. When I spray that on me, bitch. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. And listen, let me tell you what. Hold on. What they say on Mary Poppins? A spoonful of sugar help the medicine go down, bitch? Listen. 
I done been tapping into my inner ocean, honey. I got me some honey right here. I've been broop, mm, giving myself a little taste of some sweetness every day to make my day be sweet as honey, baby. Okay? So y'all need to tap into that. Listen, y'all need to turn into a little honey pot out here. Y'all better turn into a little honey pot and stir it around, bitch. Stir it around. Anyway, listen, enough of me rambling on about my self-love journey, okay? But that's that's just my self-love journey. And if y'all have anything that y'all been doing, I don't know if y'all been knitting, y'all been crocheting, y'all been going out there with y'all kids playing hopscotch and jacks and shit. I don't know what y'all been doing, pottery. Whatever y'all been doing, tell me about y'all self-love journey. I want to know. I want to know. All right, so let's get into the reading. Let's get into the reading. I know I don't ran my mouth too much. All right, listen. Father God, thank you so, 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 so very much for bringing us here this weekend. Thank you so much for the blessings. Thank you so much for anointing us with this brand new journey, this voyage, Father God. We've been feeling, excuse me, we've been feeling blessed. We've been feeling free. We've been growing. A lot of us been taking care of ourselves. Our bodies have been like, um, mm, just getting very thick and voluptuous. I don't know about y'all's, but I know mine is. Okay, avocado, avocado toast. Ladies, get into it. Avocado toast, girl. Avocado. Y'all better watch the one slide. Anyway. Listen, Father, thank you so, 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 so much for everything that you've been doing for us. Please give us love, light, prosperity, and abundance. And just everything that we need to know to have a prosperous and loving weekend. Thank you so much again, Father God. All the Divine Feminines, we all send you love. And we thank you so much for allowing us to rest on your back while you carry us to the other side of where we need to be, Father God. Thank you so much. Please give us guidance again for this weekend, April the 27th and the 28th of 2019. Thank you again. I think that this has been a good week for many, and it's going to be many, many more good weeks. I mean, the the, the springtime, and it's just begun, and um, we just thank you, Father God. Thank you again. All right. Let's get into these. Let's start off with some, you know, oracle cords from Miss Mystic Moon. Going on like me, uh, I am the big idea. Twins big like Tia. My twins big like Tia Tamara. Tia Tamara. Tia Tamara. Some of y'all uh, twins been growing big like Tia and Tamara. Okay, y'all been getting thicker than a snack. Yeah. Give me guidance for Divine Feminine for this weekend. Oh, 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 oh. look. Circles completion. <laughs> okay, girl. Girl, you complete in some you you girl listen. Listen me. Okay. Oh, white purity. Hold on, girl. Let me psh, 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 psh. spray some purity all over through here, girl. Girl. Mm, mushrooms, you dreaming? Girl, you been eating some scrums? You been eating some scrums? Heck. The hat is in reverse. Do I want to read reversals? What is this? Starfish. Safe passage. I ain't reading no reversals, girl. I ain't reading it. I ain't reading it. Come on, now. We want the purest moment as we could be right now. We ain't reading no reversals. We ain't doing it. Girl. My twist big like T.I. Okay. Make them bitches sick, diarrhea. Okay? <laughs> okay, girlfriend, let me let you know. This is a safe passage, baby, because we, listen, we closing up cycles, honey. We going full circle on a bitch, full circle on a dick. Bitch, what? Girl, we having safe passages as we doing completion of these cycles. You know, we doing donuts on these hoes. Okay, girl. Ooh, girlfriend. Some new opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. Girl! Girl! It's your world, girlfriend. You been seeing a hey, 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 girl? Girl, did you do completions? Is you, is, you, is you riding circles around a nigga? Is you riding circles around a nigga? Okay? 
Niggas seeing blue and purple around a nigga. That nigga bruised up. Okay? He misused up. Nigga. Okay, we 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 having safe passages going going past niggas, okay? Okay, girl. Girl I. Okay, you ready to wear that hat? You ready to put that roll on? Get your roll on. Get your get your roll on. Okay? You been listening to some cash monies. You been listening to some cash monies? You ready to put that hat on? You ready to get your roll on, girl? Girl, because you know some new opportunities is coming. And you ready to get your roll on. Put that hat on and get your roll on, girl. You done completed cycles, girl. Girl, is you pure? Is you pure? Is you pure out here, girl? Ever fresh? Zestfully clean out this bitch? Girlfriend, did you complete them cycles and did you come out pure than a bitch? Okay, girl, listen. <laughs> you were you ready to wear that hat to purity and abundance and happiness and clarity and all that good stuff? Girl, come on now. Tell these hoes don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Why did I just hear that in my head? Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. I know that's not how it go. It says purity, innocence, safety, light. Come on, mother. Come on, father. Okay, y'all. Y'all got me too geeked up. Why well, y'all got me geeked up already? Why well, y'all got me trained on ready, ready to twist the bitch up like spaghetti? Why well, y'all got me like that? Divine feminine. Like, girl. Girl, look, y'all not about to tell me no new opportunities about to come our way. And y'all think I ain't about to get excited. Excuse me? Excuse? <sighs> anyway. Mushrooms. That's probably why I'm so giddy. Y'all bitches been eating shrooms. I know my bitches out the West Coast. I know what y'all bitches be doing. Mm hmm Don't they look? Reds, no. I know y'all be eating them shrooms out in the park and shit. Mm hmm Don't worry. I'm going to be out there with y'all one day. Nope. Nope. I don't know because I don't want that type of shit. Mm hmm Because y'all be, mm hmm Y'all be out there seeing purple leprechauns and shit and motherfucking dandelions singing and doing the dutty wine and shit. I don't know what y'all be uh, experiencing off of these shrooms, but I'm, I'm finna go out in the park with y'all. Okay? I'm finna go out in the park with y'all. We gonna have a barbecue and all. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be lovely. We gonna be sitting out there dreaming and shit like that. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight. Face ass. Okay, girl. We gonna be out there y'all hiding the bitch. In the motherfucker park, eating some good ass motherfucker hot dogs and shit, and some tater salad, chilling and shit, off our pure innocent ass shit, okay? Out there under the trees, smoking some ganja trees. That's what we be doing out the West Coast, okay? It's illegal, bitch. We can do what we wanna do. Fuck them. Who gonna check us? Girl? Girl? And we gonna let our friends eat the shrooms and shit. We gonna watch them and laugh and shit. Cause we too pure for that. We ain't fucking around with no shrooms. We ain't doing no that, man. That's going a little bit too deep, bitch. But you know what? Mm hmm We be out in the elements, okay? All out in the park. We see all these ladybugs flying all around us. We like, ew. 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 I don't like bugs. Ew. But then God said, hold on, little girl. I know you don't like bugs. But these bugs are blessings. So if y'all been seeing ladybugs just all up in your house, you like, how the hell you get ew? Ew, how you get them out? Girl. Girl. How you get in my house? God said no cure. Her. That is me trying to let you know. Okay? <laughs> girl, some luck coming your way, girl. Don't, don't, don't. Because, girl, that's what I be doing. I don't like no bugs. Mm -mm. I don't even like butterflies. I don't like none of them shit because they used to be a caterpillar. And caterpillars are nasty looking. Mm-mm. 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 God said don't be out here high, high, tripping. Okay? Digga, you seeing purple leprechauns and shit fuck around killing my ladybugs and shit like that, I'm gonna whoop your ass, okay? Don't be out there killing his nature. Don't be out here fuck around killing his nature, y'all, okay? You better be pure and understand that everything got a purpose and he just trying to send you a message with the ladybug. You ain't had to kill it, damn, okay? You better know your role. You better put your hat on. You better know your role and don't be out, okay? I'm acting too stupid. I'm acting too stupid. I'm acting too stupid right now. I, you know what? I should cut that coffee down a little bit more with some more sugar because that's some pure coffee right there. Girl. That's some pure coffee. It's good. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, touch me nicely, Knight of Cups. Ooh, cuss me. Touch me nicely. And girl. 
the knight of swords. Ooh. 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 What you coming through trying to let me know some truth? What you talking about? What you talking about? All this nightly shit going on. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh. The lovers. Ooh, girl. What you doing this weekend, girlfriend? <laughs> Ooh, you nasty. Ooh, the four walls. Ah! What, what does it say? The devil. Obsession. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, who's obsessed with you, girl? Oh, who's obsessed with you and wanna love you all down? And wanna go downtown? That's the way. Who wanna lick your? Who wanna lick your honey pot? Hmm. Who's all obsessed and loved up with you and, and trying to start a, a foundation? Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, girl. Who obsessed with you, girl? Oh, did you grab? Look, did you bring your hands to your face? Oh, oh, who is that? Sir, who are you? Mm. You can't stop looking at my page. Oh, mm. you want to lick the honey pot? Oh, mm. <laughs> oh, he said that you his twin flame, that you his lover, that you his lover, that you his lover. Oh, he trying to start a family with you because you his lover. Okay. Ooh, he wants to start a foundation with you because you're his lobber. And he can't stop this. He just, he can't stop lobbing you. It's an obsession. He can't stop lobbing you. Ooh. 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 The tower. Okay. The tower in reverse. So it looks like this might be somebody that is currently lobbing you. And still obsessed with you. And it's somebody that, you know, an ending had occurred, but they don't want it to end because they still lump you. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two, two, beep, beep. Ooh. The nine of swords self-sabotages and nightmares. Ooh. This person is still loving you. And they having um nightmares and things like that because they self-sabotage the situation and it's driving them crazy. And they still loving you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, and they ain't indecisive no more. They them came to a decision. They taking that blindfold off. They want to go downtown. Oh, oh, who is this? The emperor, the divine masculine. Oh, 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 the emperor. They says this is the divine masculine, y'all. But he's still, he's still backwards on his bullshit. I feel like the divine masculine, he's no longer confused. What is this? Yeah, he's no longer confused by all of these options and these temporary fantasies no more. I just, I just think he don't know how to come to you correct. I feel like he don't know how to come to you correct, divine feminine, because he love you very much and he wants to like commit and start this foundation with you. But he know that he fucked shit up before with that low vibrational bullshit with that devil card when he was like obsessed with. Chasing his addictions with it could have been drugs, alcohol, could have been sex addictions. He could just been an adulterer, just cheating. Like he just could not stop himself from cheating. And I feel like this person kind of knew it was coming and could have avoided the ending in this situation, but didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't move quick enough. They didn't move quick enough. And they feel like they self-sabotage the situation because they seen ways that they could have stopped and they could have avoided the shit, but they didn't and they, they're having nightmares. And all those options is what fucked everything up. And this person, I still feel like even right now, I want to say that this person doesn't trust their self. That they won't make the same decision again. Because I still see that they're fighting some level of addictions. They're, they're still fighting a level of addiction, but they're fighting it. They are fighting it. And what does it say? The Knight of Wands, passionate adventure. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. Th this man, this man is still, still on some player shit. I feel like this person is is still not ready to step up and be the divine masculine. 
this person is still um I still feel like still making bad decisions. I don't feel like this person has really truly learned their lesson and they're still out there um just being a player. That Knight of Wands in reverse. They don't um have any intention of being with anyone for any long call. Nope. But they love you. They love you, Divine Feminine, because clearly they all up in your energy. They all up in your energy. Clearly the Divine Masculine, the Emperor in reverse. That's someone that don't know how to protect. That's someone that don't know how to provide. Why are you in our energy? Do da do da. Why are you in my energy? Oh, do do I day. Nigga, go away. Go somewhere and play. Go find a new wise investment. Oh, do do da day. Nigga, why the fuck is you in our energy? <laughs> why the fuck is you in our energy? And here he is ending off. As he ending off saying the Ace of Pentacles, like he wants a brand new start. He wants to, you know, he knows, he knows that, ladies, these men know that they fucked up. They fucked up when they allowed y'all to slip out of their hands. You know what I'm saying? This was something that they could have avoided, but didn't. The glass has been broken. And once it's broken, you cannot mend broken pieces of glass back together. All because this person wasn't willing to fight a little bit harder to avoid a temptation. And, like, I feel like now, you know, this situation is completely destroyed. And I feel like this man is caught off guard. And now that they look at themselves like they sabotaged the situation because they didn't want to step up and be a man. And they were being blinded by options. Like they didn't know any better. See, this 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 seven of cups in reverse. This is someone that knows better but still can't resist. You you feel what I'm saying? Fucking idiot. Mm mm mm. Let me blow my candle out, y'all. Might have given anyone. one. And now your chest burns and your back aches. Pretty years. I'm holding up, baby, and now you only have yourself to blame. Maybe you continue to live this way. You have to heal your body. You wanna heal your heart. What's the matter? So will reach. Give me guidance for the Divine Feminine in regards to her heart chakra. You know what? I, you know what? Real quick. Because it's like the Divine Masculine wants to be her in our reading. So, let's see what he got to say. I've been playing like a plane over the last they say. Because I've been redeemed on your anguish and pain. A spiritual child, I'm floating on a cloud. Cause the words that come from your mouth, you're the first to hear. Speak words of Alright. So, Spirit, please give us guidance in regards to what the Divine Masculine wants to say to the Divine Feminine since they want to be present in our reading. Thank you so much. Please clarify this spread here. Yeah. The lovers, foundation, the double in reverse, the tower in reverse, nine of swords, indecisive. What does he have to say? I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. I know it may be too late by the time I figure things out. You've affected my life significantly. Why well, can't talk today? Anything else? You're all I've ever wanted. I'm really bad at commitment. All right. So let's check with this deck. 
Any additional messages from the Divine Masculine? Any messages from the Divine Masculine? I'm reminded constantly of you. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I wish I could take things back, I said. I can't handle your words right now. I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. All right. So there you go, Divine Masculine. Your words have been heard by your beloved divine feminine so here you go sir there you go so if you want to know how your divine masculine feels seems like you know you are very much so still a big part of his life and um he's just really bad at commitment as you can see you know he don't like i said and i think i said it that uh he doesn't trust himself so if any of you guys wonder why you haven't heard from a divine masculine, it's because he don't trust himself. Then he, he think he might hurt you again. Coming together. Blossom. So in regards to the divine feminine and the heart chakra. Coming together and blossom. Okay, so in regards to, this is a clear message what I'm getting. So in regards to this divine masculine, because I don't know, maybe some of you guys have been in communication with your divine masculine recently, or maybe your divine masculine is trying to energetically communicate with you. That's why he's like, let me just kick up in your read real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm like, damn, like he, he came up in the read like it was his motherfucker read. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Spirit wants you to know that there won't be any coming together or no new blossoming of this relationship with this old person of yours, okay? So, like, I need you to get that shit out of your fucking mind, Divine Feminine, and listen. Listen to reason, all right? It's toxic. This person is letting you know. They're bad at commitment. What they've done to you before, they will do it again. They don't even trust themselves. Do you see what I'm saying? So, it's like, listen. If this person reaches out to you, all right? Just it, it just needs to be on some okay, I I I appreciate everything and I'm grounded right now. Um, but I'm strengthening the bond right now with myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on myself right now. So, I'm not I'm you know like because with this three here and it's reaching out, I definitely feel like if this person reaches out, there will be a, a third there in a situation. And it'll be like you'd be trying to climb up a step ladder again with this person just to get communication. And just it's not worth unrooting yourself. You are so rooted. You understand what I'm saying? The only person I want you to be reaching out to is spirit. You know what I'm saying? Spirit. Making sure that you're keeping yourself grounded. And if this person does reach out to you, it may be just to strengthen the bond in yourself and just knowing that you can close this cycle. You see what I'm saying? So if this person reaches out to you, just close the cycle. You know what I'm saying? And it's strength strengthen that bond. You know, if y'all could if y'all could be friends, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really necessarily I don't think I would want to be friends with someone. I I mean, I, I, I mean it's up to you. And it's truly up to you, my dear. It is one hundred percent up to you what you want to do with that. But I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Let me clarify this. Clarify. Coming together in reverse, blossom in reverse. Listen as the center focus. All right. Reach out and strengthen bond. 
I really do feel like there's not going to be no coming together or no blossoming of no whole situation. And listen to God, listen to reason. When this situation approaches you, reach out to God and strengthen that, that, that bond with the divine. Like, that's what she's doing. Listen. She's strengthening the bond with, her, with the divine because she's keeping herself rooted. Because it's like when this person reaches out, it's like you're going to feel the number three. You're going to feel like there's still a third somewhere. And you see how confused this person looks? It's just like, uh-uh. Listen. Listen, you guys. There will not be any new coming together with this person. Queen of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person is just coming back around and take advantage of you again. And it's not going to be in the new beginnings of this situation. I feel like this person is just coming back with their own with their old shit. And it's going to throw you off. And I don't want you to be thrown off at all. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. The Tower in reverse. You're avoiding this shit. You're already happy and you're fulfilled on your own. You're handing this person an acorn and you tell them to get the fuck out of my damn house. Like, get the fuck out of my yard. Like, <laughs> for real. Like, there won't be no coming together. The Ace of Swords in reverse. I mean, yeah, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Like, the Ace of Swords is... I mean, I'm saying the Ace of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a single woman. It's a single woman. And the only thing she wants to deal with is fact and truth. Fact and truth. And I feel like in this situation, with her being in reverse, like, number one, you're cutting out some shit. You're cutting out some shit. And you're just not being nice about it. I just feel like you're going to be very curt. Very direct, very, you know what I'm saying? I, I can see you just being a little bit nasty, a little verbally nasty and a verbally aggressive. Letting someone know that there will not be no new beginning here. Like, there, like don't be coming back here with no brand new idea, thinking that you're going to come over here and trying to invest some shit in here. And we're going to work things out and that we're going to have a new start. No, we're not. Like, no, we're not. And, like, you're going to go the fuck off about it. Because you see this person as a motherfucking scam artist. You're going to be like, stop sending me motherfucking messages about this new. Because you feel like this person is plotting and scheming and planning. Like, it's like, no, I'm not planning on developing nothing with you. I don't want to do anything with you. You feel like this person is trying to come around to drug you and manipulate you out of taking care of, out of taking care of them. You see what I'm saying? And you're like, no, you're not. You're not. Okay? You might have got me with that shit the last time where, you know, I was so busy trying to be, you know, good to you that I was, I was so hypnotized and confused where I couldn't see what the fuck you was doing. But you was just trying to motherfucking convince somebody and to take care of you like a... I, no. This ain't... I, you ain't... with the. That's fucking pole pimping, bitch. You need a... Mother, mm -mm, that's pole pimping. Mm -mm. You pole nigga pimping. Okay? Listen... I'm all right. Like, I got my ace of goddamn. I got my ten of cups. I'm happy and I'm fulfilled by myself. Like, please take your fucking acorn nut and get the fuck out my yard. Like, no. <laughs> like, nigga, you done got your nut out of me before. But just in case if you need another one, here, look, let me, here, here you go. Get the fuck out my yard, boy. Like, literally, she's handing him a nut and telling him to get the fuck on. So I don't know if, like, some of you guys, y'all might let y'all ex come back, hand him a nut and tell him to get the fuck on. And, like, I don't see, I don't think that this person is going to see that coming. And, like, like I said, this person is trying to avoid this ending with you, but you're closing the door. It's just like, listen, I don't want nothing to do with you. Only thing that you could provide me with is a nut, and I don't even want that. Like I'm, I'm full. I'm good. Cause you feel like this person is going to try to come around and try to. That is so funny how this lady is handing him a nut and, and telling him to get the fuck out of her yard. Like for real, for real. Y'all are cussing this motherfucker out, letting him know that ain't shit and pop, ain't shit popping off. Like you came and you tried to motherfucker take advantage of me last time. So ain't no point of you thinking that you about to come around here and do do this shit again. If anything, I'm going to get me a nut and I'm going to send you on about your way. And there ain't nothing that you can do to avoid that shit. So, like, 
You can come back over here with this bullshit if you want to. You ain't nothing but some dick. Like, ooh. I don't know why y'all are in her fucking readings. Why are y'all all up in divine feminine readings like this? And divine feminine and this motherfucker get y'all ass together. Because she in her role. What in the hell? Please give me guidance about the divine feminine right now. Give me guidance. What does it say? Becoming a braver, resilient, experienced, growing stronger, fresh perspective. Okay, now why are all of these out? Girl, we are all mad here. Okay. And painting the roses red. Come on now, there's too many cards, Father. Father, seriously? Seriously right now. Okay, so. So let me see. Becoming a braver. Okay, so this means. It says feeling... There is no point of your trials. An inability to see you are courageous and learning all the time. Doubting that you have the endurance to cope with the challenges being faced. Believing that you are weak and unable to attack the smallest of adversaries. Feeling that you will fall apart when troubled times come. Afraid of adventures. Daunted by tests. So, I feel like a lot of you women feel... I feel like you guys know that the Divine Masculine is like in y'all's energy. Like it's on y'all ass. And for a lot of you guys, I don't think that this person has shown up yet. But y'all know that he's coming to show up. And I feel like you guys don't necessarily feel like you're going, like you going to be able to be brave enough to kind of like tell this person off. Like how this person is telling this person off right here and this how your energy wants to tell this person off this is how your energy wants to deal with the situation but somehow like in your spirit like you don't i feel like when this man comes around and he gives you these words and the grass wasn't greener and everything i think you're scared that your heart is going to be weak to that shit you know what i'm saying and you know Bitch. Child, I'm girl, you ain't seen me just hop up like that. I'm thinking in my fucking house about to catch fire. Lord Jesus Lord. These damn people look the Ethiopian people about to burn their fucking house down, y'all. They had me thinking my house was about to burn down, y'all. Did y'all see how I just hopped up like that, y'all? Oh my dear Lord, y'all. This reading, oh my goodness. Y'all gonna be like bitch. Ah, and then this one says, we are all mad here, clearly. What in the fuck? Like, what is going on? We are all mad here. What is going on, y'all? What is this? Who house is about to burn down, y'all? It says, um... Telling yourself you are normal over and over won't make you so. You may be grounded, wholesome, earthy, realistic, uh, programmatic, but you are still a little bit mad. There's no need denying it so strongly or to a point out of the madness of everyone else. Come to know your own brand of madness and you'll be much more at peace and able to enjoy the amazing life that you've been blessed enough to experience. Girl... Painting the roses red, covering up errors. Girl. This is working for or being in a relationship with someone who is harsh on those who make mistakes. Feeling forced to cover up errors in order to avoid punishment. Fear of mistakes of Fear of mistakes being discovered, hiding the evidence as the consequences are much harsher than the mistakes. Feeling that you need to do what you need to do to stay safe. Girl, what in the dear hell? 
What in the damn hell? Listen. A damn thing and everything just threw my brain off. It threw my brain off, y'all. Listen, so this is what I'm getting here. So, I feel like... Hmm... I honestly feel like some of you guys might have went back to the divine masculine or something like y'all y'all might have actually went back and y'all might have had sex with them and then realized that it wasn't necessarily what you thought it was gonna be and handed them a nut and said nigga get the fuck um and I feel like right now y'all are trying to paint the roses red and trying to hide the mistake that you just recently made like if you guys did make a mistake um and you might be saying to yourself, like, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Like, I, you know, I wasn't crazy for doing this. I did. But we're all a little fucking crazy. We all do dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And you were a little bit nervous about if you were going to be able to handle the situation if this person presented himself to you. And it looks like, you know, you might have made a mistake and now you're trying to cover it up. Hmm. Is that why you're handing them the nut and telling them to get the fuck? Hmm. 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 Let's see what's going on. Clarify this for me, please. Hey, ladies, I guess this is going to be a long ass motherfucker read. So y'all just look. Because I done had distractions. I had all type of shit. I'm in here talking about motherfucking self love journeys and shell. I'm going to have to put some time stamps in this motherfucker. I am not stopping and re-recording this video. Y'all just gonna have to motherfucker rock out. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to rock out. Please clarify this. The King of Cups. The Magician in Reverse. Oh my gracious. The High of Fun. The Six of Cups. Why well, I feel like this motherfucker King of Cups came back in off this magician bullshit. This magician in reverse bullshit because this person knew that they had a certain power over you. And they holding the cards in their hand. Look, this person know they know how to play their cards with you. And they holding this cup in front of your face. You understand? And they came back off of this magician in reverse energy. They know what power that they have over you. And they know how to manipulate you to, to, to use it, to will it to their benefit. They know good and damn well... They couldn't get over the past with you and you couldn't get over the past with them. They knew it. I feel like they coming back offering you commitment. But look at this motherfucker in the goddamn tree. This motherfucker look like he ain't up to no good. He's coming back offering you commitment and marriage and shit like that. And coming back sending you messages of truth. You know, like they, they, they coming back to give you truth and clarity and everything like that. And if they've let go of certain things that were no longer, you know, benefiting them. Mm-hmm. But they still on some page of wall and shit. They still immature shit. They were really just coming back because they wanted to have sex. Okay? It's a tired moment. They were <laughs> coming back to have sex and dip out. That's it. That's it. You look, that's it. So y'all can listen to that bullshit if y'all want to. Don't don't be don't be don't be fooled by that shit this weekend, y'all. Okay? I feel like this person misses your sex. Give me guidance and love. We ain't even. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry, but this man just bust all up and y'all reading. And then I'm just like so easily distracted, y'all. Listen. It looks like this person gonna try to like lay it on real damn thick this weekend. What is this? Observer understanding this person has been observing you online for a good little while trying to get to some understanding about how to approach you but i don't see that this person this person still wants to be single and like play around like this person is not this person is going to come back acting like they want to be come yeah they're trying to get some understanding because you muted them out they can't see your face they can't see your f divine masculine and balance in this book. The answer is yes. So if you want to know if this observer 
This person that's been observing you that you muted out, they've been looking for some understanding. The answer is yes, that this person is coming back to get some understanding and to balance the scales. That yes, this divine masculine is coming back. This divine masculine has been online observing you this whole time, divine feminine. You've been trying to find like the guy to light some understanding as to why did, why you left or why you muted them out and they haven't been able to see your face for a long time. And the answer is yes, that they want to balance the scales with you and be the divine masculine. You understand what I'm saying? But it's just like, bro, bro, like, no, because because like you still you still in this. No, you still in this player ass motherfucking energy. And I feel like if the divine feminine go back and fuck with you, she gonna feel like she crazy. You know what I'm saying? And trying to convince herself that, you know, she not crazy, that this is normal and everything like that. And she did something that normal a normal person would have did in this situation and everything. And she just gonna try to paint her roses red to cover up her errors and shit. And she gonna end up having to cuss you out all over again. Like, no. Give me guidance in regards to this situation with this observer. This observer situation going on with this um divine masculine. Divine feminine. Because the divine masculine is in your reading. So, like, I, I you would think that this is a fucking divine. Like, can we bombard and bust up in day reading like this? Damn. Shit. They feel foolish. You understand what I'm saying? But they, they trying to... Balance the scales and try to not be so foolish anymore. Vengeful in reverse. I feel like the, the divine masculine was very, 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 very mad at you for a long time. But I don't feel like they're mad at you anymore. They don't want they don't want you to be secondary in their life no more. That bought them a lot of pain, the fact that they put you in a secondary position. And they've been thinking of excuses to come up with, you know what I'm saying, for why they walked away. But they were mad at you for walking away from them. I don't think that they can handle your judgments right now. But don't nobody want to hear your excuses neither though, pimping. Pimping since been pimping since been pimping. Don't nobody want to hear your excuses neither, brother. Don't nobody want to hear this shit. You understand what I'm saying? They know that what they did was foolish. And they're getting over the rage and feeling vengeful about the fact that you left them. Because this the, they were fucking mad. They were mad. You understand what I'm saying? They felt so much pain for putting you secondary. And I feel like if you was to ever let them back, that they would never do that again. If they wouldn't do it again. In their heart, they don't want to do it again. But I swear for God, they are scared. They do not trust their self that they can not be in this player energy. They don't trust their self, okay? They've been thinking of excuses after excuses after excuses in their head for why they walked away. For why they... Fuck this relationship up. Like they sabotage this relationship. You know, and they, they are they do not want it. They do not want it. Your words, your words fuck them up, ladies. Your words fuck them right the fuck on up. Two more spreads, then we up out of here. Might as well give y'all one long, good ass reading. Cause after this weekend, we're going into the May reading. So you guys look out for your May readings. Mm, mm, mm. He's just busting the door, waving in the four four. All up in y'all reading divine feminine. The hell, passion in reverse, career transition in reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting right there is right now, divine feminine. I feel like you guys are having a lack of passion right now in regards to certain matters in regards to your career. I feel like there's a risk that needs to be taken. You know, for you to, it's a risk that you're scared to take in regards to a career transition. And I feel like whatever you're doing right now, you don't, like there's no passion in it. But there's something that you want to do career-wise that you know that you're going to have to make certain steps to take that tra transition. But I feel like you feel like it's too much of a risk and it's scary to you. 
But whatever it is that you are doing, you don't have any passion in it anymore. And you want you want to change in regards to your career. But I feel like you're scared to do it. You're scared to do it. And you definitely don't have any passion or whatever it is that you're doing. That you're currently doing. You know that you're you know that there has to be a transition in regards to your career. Please give me guidance in regards to this career transition and passion in reverse. And then we're gone. Shit. I don't know how many decks I just fucking used. Shit, what's that? What's that uh twelve decks? Give me go that fucking tower in reverse again. All right, the lovers. The lovers. All right, so in regards to this passion and transition career. It's like I've fallen and I can't get up type of shit like that. It's something that you love, but I feel like you've fallen. And you're looking for someone to help pick you up so that you can get your passion back going in regards to this career. Um, I feel like you're not making enough money. This shit ain't balancing out for you. You know what I'm saying? As much, as much work as you're doing and that you're putting into this career... It's not balancing out the amount of work that you put into it versus how much you making and how much you putting out to do whatever this is you're doing. It ain't balancing out. And I feel like you're going to avoid a disaster in regards to this. And something that you love to do, but you feel like you've fallen. You love it, but you feel like you've fallen and you, you need help. You know what I'm saying? You need to pick me up. You need to pick me up. And you needed to 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 work for you. You needed to work for you and make sense to you on a um, financial base. Like if you're gonna be putting this much work and effort, you need to see it come back to you that way. Otherwise, you're gonna avoid a disaster in regards to this. Okay. So this has been your reading for the weekend, I guess, ladies. Uh. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's just like, child. I mean, he was just so, he was all in your B.I. Like T.I. He was all in your B.I. Like T.I. That shit didn't, that shit did not sit well with me at all. That shit did, it did not sit well with me at all. One more, one more card, y'all. I'm sorry. Because I'm just pulling deck after deck after deck out. And that's what y'all get. Y'all should be always sending me all this money while I can have all these damn decks. Sorry, no, let me shut up. <laughs> if this video resonated, if you want to send a dollar, two or three, y'all go ahead and send that to me and my PayPal. Because as y'all can see, this is why y'all readings be so long. Because I have so many decks and I be, I be clarifying and clarifying and clarifying. Give me some additional guidance for my ladies for the weekend. What is the most important thing that they need to keep on the top of their mind as a center of focus because it seems like someone's going to be trying to bombard them this weekend and um, it seems like they also have a lot of stuff going on in their mind in regards to career changes so please give the Divine Feminine some guidance on you know where to keep their mind and their focus on this weekend Divine Timing Div Excuse me, the divine brings things into timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. Okay? True love, your wholeness and safety lies within, not from a partner. But this sovereignty actually leads to a deeper intimacy for you to stop using others. Okay? Okay? Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and I know true love. All right? So this is not necessarily meaning that you are using others like you're using people in a bad way. But this is meaning 
using other people to feel like you need them in order to feel some type of wholeness, some type of safety, in order for you to get your passion back. Because, as you can see, this woman fell down and she needs someone to help her get back up. But you have to pull yourself back up. You see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if this person gets up and leaves, you always want to be laying down on the ground. You ain't never going to pull yourself up. You know what I'm saying? So you have to find that within yourself. And you need to figure out if this tra career transition is a risk that you're willing to take. If it's a risk that you're willing to take, balance it out, figure it out. And if you truly, truly love it, find a way to make it so that you can do whatever it is without putting so much of yourself out like that. You know, and it will kind of like balance out and make good sense for you and everyone involved, if that makes any sense. So anyway, this has been y'all read and I love y'all. I don't been holding y'all up too much. Uh, Bye.